Recording in progress. So go to the risk and rewards for entrepreneurs. They said uh, in 2015, 581,000 new businesses were set up in the UK. This was expected to rise over to 600,000 in 2016. However, less than one half of these were predicted to survive beyond five years. Starting up a new business offers the potential of high, for high rewards. So entrepreneurs like Richard Branson, Stelios, Haji, Martha Stewart have become rich, rich through developing their own business. Starting a new business also offers a chance of, for many people to do something different. If nothing helps, it means working for yourself rather than for someone else. So the reward of being an entrepreneur is the, the reward for being an entrepreneur is how you become famous. And aside being famous, you'll be able to like do things different, like doing things that comes within your own will and wish, not like doing what others want you to do. So that's what these are rewards for entrepreneurs. However, being an entrepreneur is risky. The downside of success is business failure. If the business fails, it may leave debts to be paid off. The entrepreneur might have borrowed money to start a business or to finance growth. Getting back into a normal job may also be difficult, especially if the entrepreneur left a well-paid job to set up their business. The risk of failure is a, motiv is a major motivator for entrepreneurs to carry on and make a success of their enterprise, even when faced with challenges. The risk regarding entrepreneurship is that one, you, uh, it, there's always going to be an opportunity cost anyway. But the point they're trying to make here is that yes. when you have an entrepreneur, as an entrepreneur, the opposite of success is failure. So when, when failure comes, you might not be able to, you know, to recover. So a lot of businesses will start up, but not all those businesses that start up will see the light of the day. They, they are not all going to be successful. So those that become successful, we hear about them. Those that are not successful, we don't hear about them. Mm -hmm. So that means if you have put so much money into the business, going back to become an em employee might be difficult. So most of the time, the fear of failure becomes a motivator for em for entrepreneurs. So they want to see success. Mm -hmm. The fear of failure yeah. becomes their own motivator. So they don't want to fail. Yeah. As a result of that, they put all efforts, they work hard in it, not to fail. I think it's clear there. Success and failure have an opportunity cost. The opportunity cost of, of an activity is the best lost from the next best alternative. So, like they said, yeah, success and failure have an opportunity cost. So, the opportunity cost of an activity is the benefit lost from the next best alternative. So, if you are choosing, if you have chosen to be an entrepreneur, you won't enjoy the benefit of being an employee. That is the opportunity cost. Okay. I think the point is clear there. Yeah. Okay. So they would only be part of opportunity cost because the job would probably have had other benefits too, including satisfaction from doing the job. For a successful entrepreneur, the opportunity cost of being an entrepreneur is likely to be lower than the benefit of owning, owning a business. For an unsuccessful entrepreneur, the opportunity cost is likely to be higher. This is why the unsuccessful entrepreneur is likely to close the business and move on to something else. So being an entrepreneur, the opportunity cost is the, the, job, that, the, the job you won't be getting and the other benefits that are attached to being an employee, you won't be getting it. But it's still good for you because you are successful, you, you made profit. But an, excuse me, an unsuccessful entrepreneur, the opportunity cost is high. Because one, you'll be losing out on, you'll be losing out on employment opportunity, you'll be losing out on employment benefits, you're also losing out your business. Your business is also failing. So the opportunity cost is higher now. So that's why they will just leave and find something else to do. I think the point they make there is clear. Yeah. So that is about the risk and reward for entrepreneurs.